Hello and welcome. Today we'll be talking about the Polkelet AA light from Ace Beam. This is a 14500 battery operated light or a AA operated light. It comes with an included 14500 rechargeable battery with a USB-C charging port. It has a Nietzsche 219F LED emitted inside of it, which outputs about 5000K color temperature. It also has three brightness levels, a high level that runs on the lithium ion for about 550 lumens for about 35 seconds, then steps down to 330 lumens for one hour, one minute, runs on medium for about 190 lumens for about two hours and 21 minutes, and a low of five lumens for about 58 hours with the included lithium ion battery. It also features a anti-scratch resistant lens with anti-reflective coating on it. It also has waterproof and dustproof rating of IP68. Size is going to be 94.8 millimeters by 18.2 millimeters by 17.8 millimeters or 3.37 inches by 0.71 inches by 0.7 inches. Weight's going to be 54.6 grams or 1.92 ounces with the battery. Here we can see on the table the box that the Ace Beam Polkelet AA comes in. It's a basic box here with the plastic insert. We have the included Ziploc bag with the two O-rings in it and the battery spacer inside to prevent it from turning on. And we have the manual here. And finally, we have the Ace Beam Polkelet AA light here. And on the side here, we have a bunch of comparisons for sizes. These lights are the i5R from Olight. It's a AA 4500 light. We have the Lumen Top Tool 2.0, also is a AA slash 14500 light. And we also have the Skill Hunt E21A, which is also a AA 14500 light. And then next to it is an 18650 light. This is the Noctagon KR4. So you can get an idea of the sizing of the Polk Lit AA light. Here on the table, we have the Polk Lit AA light, and we have the included stainless steel pocket clip installed on here. We have the included lanyard as well. And as we can tell, we got the model number and the model type designation on the cap, the front end, and the Ace Beam logo on the side here. And we got some knurling here along the body. This is an aluminum light. And we got some texturing on the back cap here as well. The rubber boot in the back is also textured, and it's got a nice resistance so it doesn't accidentally push on very easily to activate the tail switch here. This can't tail stand, unfortunately, but that's all right. On the front here, we have the smooth reflector inside with the AR coated lens and the Nietzsche 219F emitter inside. And we have a little hot symbol here as well on the front. So let's go ahead and take this off and we'll see some threads here. These appear to be square cut threads. We have the top of the cap here with the electronics inside. And then let's take the battery out. This is our 920 milliamp hour 3.7 volt battery that comes included with the light which makes this a nice worthy buy in my opinion and we get the type c usb charging port there as well and let's go ahead and grab a light and show you the inside of the tube here And we can see the spring down there as well. Good quality spring. Let's go ahead and put this together and get the beam shots of it and some estimations. Okay, we're back shooting at an aperture 7.1, ISO is 2500, white balance is 5000K, and a frame rate of 24 frames per second on a Panasonic GH2 14 to 42 millimeter lens. Here on the table, we have the Oppo Lightmaster Pro here. That's measuring Lux. CCT and CRI. We're going to hold the light about a foot or so, maybe a little bit more, and we have it in low mode so the UI it remembers which mode you left it off in. So you, if you leave it off on low mode, like right what we have now, you'll come back on low mode. You can do the same for medium and high modes. So right now we're reading about 13 lux, about 4500 CCT or 4600 thereabouts, about 99 CRI rating. Let's go ahead and change the mode here. We are now in medium mode. So now we jump up to about 2500 lux, 2600 lux, about 4700 CCT, about 95 CRI rating. Let's go ahead and change this to a higher output to about 9000 lux or so.
and about 4600, 4700 CCT, and about 95 CRI rating for the high mode. Let's go to medium mode and check the color rendering. Move this off the table, and we can see our hotspot in the center here. There's no artifacts in the spill outside of it as well. So that's kind of nice to see that. And it's got a nice, nice profile, in my opinion, for a $18 light, which is what I got on Amazon for. It's about $16 plus tax. It comes out to about $18 something. Definitely uh, good quality for that price, in my opinion. As we can see, it renders the color of the matte here pretty decently as well. We got the neons in here, the uh, darker hues over here, and the warmer hues on the corner there. And this is high mode. And we also have low mode here too. Closer to the table. Let's get a side shot of the beam, how it comes out of the lens here. Let's go to medium mode. And let's go to high mode. All right, let's head outside and get some more beam shots. Okay, we're back shooting an aperture 2.8. 24 frames per second, ISO 6400, with a white balance of 5000K on a Panasonic GH4. And we're gonna do the light on low mode here. And as we can see, this is our five lumens here. And let's go to medium mode. This is what medium gets you. We have the log in front of us, about 20 feet in front. Then off to this side, we have a bunch of logs about 40 feet away. And we have the rock there and the tree. And to our left, we have the brook. Nice dispersion of the beam. Let's go ahead and bump it up to the maximum mode here for 35 seconds. And it's about 50 feet or so from our position to the edge of the property there where the trees are. Again, there's the first log second group of logs and the back of the yard here and the rock here and the brook to our left. Let's reset the timer on this. Go back to high. Overall, I think the Polkalit AA Lite from Ace Beam is a really good buy for its price of about $18 with tax included. It's about $16 without the tax on Amazon as of this time. It might increase, it might decrease. I like the color green here. I like the anodization or rather the aluminum body on it. I'm not sure if it's anodized or not, but I like the green color of it. I like the spring like uh, pocket clip here. It's got a good retention. I like the lanyard that it comes with. I like the tail cap that has a little bit more resistance to being turned on accidentally in the pocket. And I also enjoy the Nietzsche 219F emitter inside. This is a nice neutral white high CRI emitter. I'm a big fan of neutral white and warmer tints on my lights, especially high CRI options where color rendering is important. I feel that in my line of work, I need to have the color rendered uh, pretty accurately in order to make determinations of things and i do have a variety of different lights I, i'm going to compare this to really briefly here we have the skill hunt e2a here uh, i i think this is one of my more favorite lights because it's a little bit smaller than the polkalit double a and it also runs on a double a 14500 factor as well and this has a nietzsche sst 20 emitter inside of it with a honeycomb tr optic in there and this gives a nice warm beam that i like and has three memory modes as well and it's just a nice light. I like this one. I use this one in my work bag. And this one I can kind of tail stand with. It's a rear tail clicky switch light as well. It's smaller than the Polkalit, but it's a little bit more expensive. I think this is about maybe $27 with, if you find a battery included with this. It may not always come with a 4500 battery. You might have to buy your own. That being said, Polkalit comes with one automatically. So that is definitely something that beats out the E2A in my opinion. Now these are... A very good company is Skill Hunt. Uh, I've been using them for quite quite a little while, and I like their products. But Ace Beam is also pretty good too. I have a couple of their items as well. 
Next up is the Venerable Lumentop Tool 2.0. I have the diffuser on it. Let me take this off so you can get a good size comparison here. The Lumentop 2.0 double A light also runs on double A's and 4500s. It's got some fantastic output times and run times for its lithium ion battery. You can get this with a lithium ion battery option or without. With it, I think it's about like $27 or so. And it features, I think, a micro USB charging port, which is not as good as the USB-C charging port on this battery with the Ace Beam. The other thing is the uh, newer models, they come with a LED inside the rear tail cap here. So it kind of drains the battery. You can read up online on how to disable that. So that can be fixed. The pocket clip on this is not as good as the one on the Polkalit. However, you can get an option with this light to get a sm higher CRI type of light, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So you can get like a Nietzsche 219, I think, C emitter with this light. So there is higher CRI options, but by, by default, you get like some kind of Cree XPL, I think, emitter with this 2.0 tool. So it's not a high CRI option compared to the Polkalit. And that's why I think the Polkalit beats out the tool AA 2.0 in that it automatically offers the Nietzsche 219F emitter higher CRI option. Even if the run times and outputs are com comparable to this light, I feel like for me, in my, my opinion, the high CRI and neutral white color is much better. That being said, the Lumen Top Tool is lighter and has better run times and outputs potentially with its emitter options. And last but not least, to compare, we have the Olight i5R. They released a higher CRI option recently with the Olight i5R. I didn't pick it up because I felt that maybe getting a couple of options like for example, this Ace Beam is a little bit more affordable. Uh, what I mean by that is the i5R tends to go for about $27, $28 online. If you can catch it on sale, you might be able to get it for like $22, $23. It comes with its own proprietary 2.4 or 2, I think it's 2.4, yeah, 2.4 volt battery. And it doesn't run on 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries. It does run on AA batteries as well, so that's a bonus. But because of the proprietary options and the pricing and the lack of or just recently, up until recently, the lack of high serial options, I opted for the Polkalit AA light. So it kind of beats out the Olight iFire, in my opinion. This is still a nice light. I got this in copper last year. I've been using it, and it's got a nice patina to it. So something to consider when looking for AA form factor EDC lights. That being said, overall, I do recommend this light for anybody who's looking for a small AA form factor light that has efficient run times, good modes, spacing can run on double a alkalines and nickel mud hydride batteries and it comes with an included usb-c rechargeable 3.7 volt battery so you that, that's a lot to get for that kind of price of about 16 to 18 dollars online in my opinion and i definitely recommend to anybody who's looking for a decent high cri neutral white option and that's all i have to say about the ace beam polka lit double a light thanks for watching and enjoy your day